So today I want to give you three tips to help identify a great school so that when you're looking to buy a new home, uh, you feel comfortable about the area in which you're buying and about the school in which you're going to be sending your either current or future children. Now, just to let you know, some of the tips that I'm going to run through are more geared towards people who already have children and who are closer to a school age than not. So please just bear that in mind as I go through them. Tip number one, consider the needs of your children. So do they have any learning disabilities or do they have any special needs? Um, do they need to be in an ESL program or do you want to enroll them in French immersion? Um, do they have any special talents? Are they particularly athletic or do they have a knack for the arts? Uh, different schools have different strengths. And so if you have the ability to move to a new area and choose what school district you're going to be a part of, I think it would make a lot of sense to take a look at what a school's strengths are and try and pair them up with your child's strengths or weaknesses. It could be really beneficial for your children's success. Tip number two, visit the school's websites. Um, schools are now aware that they have to have an online presence and uh, so they do so by having a pretty decent webpage and they have a ton of information on there. Uh, they talk about what their different programs are uh, and you know what some of their strengths are, what are the, some of the things that they do with the uh, school and the surrounding community as well. And so if you're trying to identify what those school strengths are from tip number one, the website is a great place to start to find that information that you need. Tip number three, Visit the schools. So you've done your preliminary research, you've identified a few potential neighborhoods that you're considering moving to and the schools that are associated with those areas. And so I would highly recommend going physically to the schools and doing what you can to try and uh, get a sense for what the community feels like. There are a lot of intangible things that come with a school that are really difficult to find on a website or find in a Facebook forum uh, or to just kind of um, you know read or hear about. Uh, you need to like be there and, and really uh, engage with the school and its community. Uh, some schools uh, host open house nights uh, so that you could go and visit and chat with uh, teachers, chat with administrators, and um, maybe get a chance to chat with some parents of students who are already there as well. And I think that would be a, a really important step to figuring out what school is right for uh, your children and your family. Now some of those suggestions that I've made are going to take some time, especially that third one that would involve actually going to a school and kind of checking things out or waiting for an open house that's maybe coming up or whatever the case is. Um, but if you're going to be investing hundreds of thousands, if not a million or more dollars uh, into your next home and being in a neighborhood that's got a great school is really important to you, then I think you should take your time and wait for the right moments to be able to do that research. Maybe wait for that open house that's coming up uh, in the near future, whatever the case is. Um, take your time, don't rush. Uh, and make sure that the next move that you're making is the right one for you and your family. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate your time and I hope to see you uh, in the next video. Take care.